It's a great day here in the city of Atlantic City. Can we say great day? Great day. All right, all right. Um, as the LG and Senate president said, this is a big day for the great city of Atlantic City. A lot of urban cities, when they do studies, to get the economy going, they talk about eds and meds. My alma mater down the street is uh, building this fantastic facility. And I wanna give kudos to Atlantic Care, which is a truly great organization. And first and foremost, before I go any further, let's give them a round of applause the way they have handled COVID-19. You are on the front line uh, vaccinating the population so we can return back to an old sense of normalcy. But I'm excited about this, to have white coats walking on Atlantic Avenue. Um, this is gonna lead to further development, like sports, development is a copycat lead. Someone see the success of this, they're gonna wanna build something similar or something to complement it. But we appreciate the fact that knowing that the great city of Atlantic City has the highest infant mortality rate, the programming and services that you guys are going to offer here is going to take the parent through the birthing stage and even up to a year after, which is critical. So we thank you again. I want to thank my fellow board members at CREDA, um, Mr. Chairman, um, uh, Rich Tolson, um, the great leadership of Executive Director Matt Darty, And it shows when we all work together that magical things can happen. The Senate President and I were sharing a word. Um, who would have thought years ago, without the sacrifices and the tough decisions that we made, that we'll be even talking about producing a budget under 200 million. And I'd like to thank the state of New Jersey and the Lieutenant Governor for your undying support of this administration and this city. And as she said, the best is yet to come. Thank you very much.